Modern Warfare 2, a game well known for trickshotting, 1v1s on Rust, and a lot of angry screaming children. But my favorite part of the game would have to be the Spec Ops missions, a series of 23 relatively short missions with the sole purpose of 3-starring every level and reaching the fabled 69 out of 69 stars. But we've been there, we've done that, it's all old news. I mean, the game came out in 2009, it's been a whole 15 years. No, what I needed was something new, something interesting. So what better idea than to see if I could beat Hidden, a level filled to the brim with snipers, with only a knife, on veteran difficulty. The first thing I needed to do was ensure my left click was unbound, so there wasn't a chance I accidentally fired at an enemy and ruined a run. And with that, it was finally time to start the challenge. The map on Hidden consists of what I'm going to call six different sections. Section 1. Now this is where the real bread and butter of the challenge comes in. It took me three days to decide whether it was even possible or not. I almost quit several times, but then I finally achieved it. It's, okay, I, I can't. There's literally four regular enemies. Like, they, they aren't even snipers. It's, it's actually a joke. Like, if you fail here, you need to stop. Just go reevaluate your life choices or something. Anyway, section two is where you encounter the first snipers. On veteran difficulty, you'll find three snipers here. The first thing I did when I got here was test the waters. I wanted to see if snipers would eventually get bored enough of taking shots at me to make their way toward me. If I could find a way to get them to come to me, then all I would need to do is bide my time until I could strike. Well, bide my time and do my best effort at cosplaying a Swiss cheese with the amount of bullets I took. I mean, really, how many shots can one dog take? Am I immortal? Wait a second. D. O. G. That's just God backwards. Holy sh! I'm the Antichrist. Well, that, that would explain a lot. It's probably not important. As it would turn out, the snipers would eventually make their way toward me. All I needed to do was get them to shoot at me until they eventually got bored and started crawling toward me. Unfortunately, they only went a small distance, so I'd need to repeat the step over and over until they'd finally arrive at my doorstep. This strategy only lasted so long though, as in a stroke of, well... Well, I probably had a stroke to have this idea. I decided, why not go run out there and see if I could just dodge the bullets like Neo from the Matrix. And for some reason, it worked. That's right. Section 2 started to rival Section 1 in terms of difficulty. All I had to do was rush the snipers one by one. If I went fast enough, then the snipers I got close to would either hide or pull out their pistols, which gave me an easy victory each time. Getting to Section 3 no longer felt like a chance, but instead, a certainty. Section 3 is where things start to get extra tricky. There are five separate snipers scattered throughout the field, some of which having enough patience to rival the statue people of New York. Luckily, I had a secret weapon, sure to break even the most experienced, battle-hardened, veteran snipers. But before I unleashed it, I tried my best to see if I could reapply my method from Section 2, also known as Head Empty, No Thoughts. Unfortunately, this led to head gone instead of empty with the amount of sniper shots I took to the face trying this. In other words, I had no choice but to do it. I needed to use my secret weapon. See, there is no faster way to get a sniper to rush from cover to stop you than to start playing Justin Bieber's Baby. <laughs> Works like a charm. Once you're past Section 3, you're rewarded with Section 4, or what would have been the easiest part of the map if Section 1 didn't exist. It has six regular enemies and one sniper who is set up in a tower and is on a phone almost 100% of the time. Probably listening to today's sponsor, nobody! That's right, have you ever wondered who you can tell your deepest and darkest secrets to? Me too! That's why I invested in nobody to talk to and give me great feedback such as... Aren't they so special? For only zero payments of $99.99, you can get nobody as well. Batteries not included. Now, where were we? Oh, right. To start off section 4, you need to be careful. 
If you rush forward without thinking, you'll likely get caught off guard by the three enemies who walk along this path. You need to wait for them to walk by, wait in the bushes, practice your tracking skills with your mouse, sneak up behind them and say, We've been trying to reach you regarding your mouse extended warranty. And when they don't respond, you stab them in the ass. How dare they not laugh at your joke? How dare they not say they're proud of you? How dare they? Oh, right, they're, they're just AI in a video game. My bad. Once they're dead, you're now able to enter the graveyard. As long as you watch the sniper in the tower to make sure he's not looking in your general direction, the rest of the section is a piece of cake. All you had to do was walk up behind the few enemies and commit stabby stabby. At this point, the section is pretty much over. The last thing you needed to do was climb the ladder and assassinate the sniper. Section 5. While only having 12 regular enemies to go against, a lot of the time facing this felt like a lottery. All it took was one wrong step and you'd have all 12 of them running at you and chucking enough grenades to seduce Michael Bay. There were two ways you could complete this section. The first way was to take things slow and easy. Carefully and meticulously take out each enemy one by one in complete stealth. Or you could get the attention of one of the enemies and have all of them funnel into one doorway where each of them would display their photographic memory by forgetting within a single second that the last person that walked into that doorway just got stabbed by a dog standing just inside. Whichever way you complete it, you are finally left with Section 6, the last challenge, which consists of the final five snipers. And you'd think that after all the previous sections and all the rest of the snipers, it surely couldn't be that bad. Unfortunately for my sanity, the snipers there seem to have better synergy than the Power Rangers. They even tried employing cunning tactical decisions to lure me into a false sense of security. Take this window, for example. For the longest time, they refused to shoot me through it. They desensitized me to the danger lurking behind those non-existent panes of glass. And just when I believed that I was safe, just when I thought that the AI couldn't find a way to shoot me through the window, I was met with harsh reality. As heartbreaking as each lost attempt that got here was, I knew that it was only a matter of time now. Only so much longer could this final obstacle stop me from reaching my goal. All that was left now was to piece all the knowledge I had gained into one final run. For whatever reason, I decided to take section 1 a little slow this time. I was somehow overly cautious, whilst not being cautious at all. Not exactly sure where my thoughts were, but my guess is they were probably somewhere. Either way, at this point, I'd have to try to fail if I didn't want to get past the first two sections. By now, I had realized I could use some of the same strategy from Section 2 on one of the snipers from Section 3 if I was careful. This did tend to fail on occasion, but for the most part, it worked. This left me with only four snipers, which I had to one by one lure to my location to take them out. I knew that if they shot at me three times, then there was a decent chance for them to start crawling toward me. And while it took a while, as long as I was careful and patient, I could run out and stab them one after another. Getting to section 4 now, I just needed to repeat what I had already done so many times before, and as the professional gamer I am, I completely botched it and allowed them to fire around before dying. My heart sank as I went to hide, knowing full well that whenever this had happened in the past, the run had failed shortly after. Except, in some stroke of pure luck, the music hadn't started playing. The enemy hadn't been alerted. While confusion clouded my mind, I decided to push onward temporarily disguising myself under a new identity of a pit bull by the name of Princess, pretending the enemies ahead were small infants. Good night. Stay down. Unsurprisingly, this worked perfectly, and I was able to reach Section 5 with ease, and in a brilliant display of pure talent, I completely forgot what I was doing and managed to get distracted by jitter-clicking right-click. Luckily for me, like all dogs, I have plot armor, and the enemy decided to walk right past me. Beautiful. 
Realizing what had happened was enough to reconnect my brain with what I was doing, and I promptly got back to work, slowly slipping my sneaky self through the subtle slopes of the somber sward. In other words, I called through the grass and assassinated people. Eventually, my rampant spree was interrupted by one individual who managed to spot me. This forced me back to the church where I had to commit to method 2 of completing section 5, no longer capable of complete stealth. With my method of standing just inside the door, however, it wasn't exactly a challenge to survive this and make it to section 6. Well, after I almost immediately died just a few seconds later to the final two regular enemies who decided that when all their friends were running to kill me, they couldn't be bothered. After that, with the culmination of all my previous attempts swirling around my mind, I knew what I had to do. I was ready. I rushed into the building to start my progress, darting to the window to begin luring each sniper to my location. It took nearly five minutes of peeking through the window, getting shot, hiding, waiting, and then peeking through the window just to get shot again before I was given my first opportunity to take one of the snipers down. With him in the doorway, pistol in hand, I started to count his bullets. See, I knew they only had 12 rounds per magazine, and all I needed to do was wait for them to reload to make my move. When the time came, I sprinted forward, swiftly taking them down. Only four more snipers remained, and I quickly returned to luring them in. After about the same amount of time repeating my previous steps, I could hear one of the snipers was close. What I hadn't realized was that while I was holed up in the back room, they had run fully into the building. In my state of surprise, my brain decided that now would be a good time to turn off, and I ran directly at the enemy, not waiting for them to run out of bullets this time. Having come just one pistol shot away from failure, I could feel my heart beating in my chest now. It took me a moment to come back to my senses and restart my attempts to lure more snipers to me. Eventually, I managed to once again get a sniper to come to the building. Except this time, it was different. They had glued themselves to the window on the right side of the building, refusing to leave no matter how many times I baited them. I tried playing Justin Bieber again and even that didn't work. This man was a psychopath. No, he was an alien. No human could have managed to remain so perfectly calm with Bieber playing. Even completely repositioning wasn't able to fix my problem. I was starting to think there was nothing I could do. I had only one last trick in my arsenal. One that up to this point had led only to failure. But I had no other choice. I had done it. He was gone, and I had made it back inside. I was down to only two snipers left. This was further than I had ever gotten, and I was starting to feel the pressure. At this point, it had been nearly 40 minutes into this run, and I had no intention of losing. Within just a few minutes, I disposed of one of the final snipers, and we were left with just me and him. And within a single minute, it was over. I had won. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and perhaps even a sub if you'd like to see more. I mean, I had to put Justin Bieber in my watch history for this video. Also, I know this is a strong long shot because I really don't want to do this, but if this video hits a thousand likes, I'll attempt the entirety of Spec Ops with only a knife. And no, I don't know if it's even possible. Anyway, it's time for me to move on to my next project. Beating Crab Champions Hardest Difficulty Without a Gun.